friends, welcome to new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn about our prehistory. The first thing we need to know is that our prehistory is divided into three different periods. Paleolithic, Neolithic, and the Metal Ages. The Paleolithic begins with the appearance of the first human beings and ends 8,000 years before Christ. During the Paleolithic period, people were nomads, meaning that they didn't live in one place. No, they were constantly on the move in search of animals to hunt. As they were hunters and gatherers, they needed to follow the animals in order to capture them and at the same time, they collected wild fruits they found on their way. They lived in tribes, in small groups formed by families and they found refuge in caves where they would paint on the wall. These paintings were done with a mixture of charcoal, earth, animal fat and water. Look, here are a few examples. The truth is, it's absolutely fascinating to think that these first paintings, these first artistic representations, were drawn thousands of years ago, don't you think? Both Paleolithic men and women wore animal skins which they had hunted previously and they used tools such as an axe and spears made out of stones, wood and bones which they themselves carved. With the passing of time, or rather centuries, these first human beings became more and more intelligent and they began to domesticate animals such as dogs, goats, sheep and pigs. They also began to cultivate plants which were then eaten. With the arrival of agriculture and farming, everything changed. Man stopped being a nomad and became sedentary, and the first villages were made. This is when the Paleolithic period ends and the Neolithic begins. The Neolithic started 8 million years before Christ, when we discovered agriculture and farming and it's finished with the beginning of the Metal Ages. Men and women in the Neolithic produced food by cultivating the land and domesticating animals. We can say that they were the first farmers and agriculturalists of our history. Better yet, our prehistory. As they had to look after their crops and animals, they constructed small villages and began to settle in them permanently meaning that they transformed into sedentary, not like the Paleolithic, who were nomads because they were moving constantly. The first Neolithic settlements were situated in very fertile lands, near rivers so they could access water easily, needed for their crops as well as allowing their animals to drink. You know how important water is in our life. The first plants that were cultivated were cereals, such as wheat, or pulses like chickpeas. But do you know which were the first animals to be domesticated? Well, it was dogs, sheep, goats, and pigs. During the Neolithic era, many interesting things were invented, such as ceramic and fabric. But the most important invention was the wheel. Everything became so easy for men and women in the Neolithic, especially when they started using metals. This is the point where the Neolithic ended and a new era in prehistory commenced the Metal Ages, which commenced approximately 6,500 years BC and finished when the first written language was born. The first metal which was used was copper, then bronze, which is a mixture of copper and tin, 
and finally iron, which is a much more abundant mineral and therefore easier to find in nature. In order to mould these metals, they were melted at extremely high temperatures and transformed into the desired shape. This is how utensils like tools, weapons and decorations were made. This process is called metallurgy. Through metallurgy, crafts and trade began. The metallurgists were the first specialized craftsmen as the metallurgy is a very complex and difficult task which few knew how to do. The rise of Algarian production and the appearance of crafts caused bartering, that is the exchange of products. This is when trade began. Trade, over time, made some villages grow in size, turning into cities. This then created large commercial and cultural exchange between these new cities and new inventions such as sailboats and wagons used to transport goods were made. Trade also changed society by creating social classes, the rich and the poor, the powerful and the slaves. During the Metal Ages, people began questioning the mysteries of life as well as death and the first religious representations arose. Constructions called megaliths were created with large blocks of stone. Mega meaning large and liths stone. The simplest megalith was the menir, a large stone reverted vertically into the ground. Dolmens were also constructed, such as the ones we see in these images. The Metal Age ended with the appearance of writing 4,000 years before Christ. And with this, prehistory comes to an end, but history commences. Did you find learning about prehistory interesting? Paleolithic, Neolithic and the Metal Ages, we definitely did. Because by getting to know our past, we understand our present and make our future better. Goodbye friends, see you next time 